Well, they have been voted the best root beer in America for the past three years. And this morning, they are sharing their secrets. Terry Levine, Eddie Car Carmia, okay. and Andy Marks are the people behind Frost awesome. Top. Sneak in here, too. Good morning, guys. Good morning. And Phil, of course. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Sneak in. Okay, guys, so what is the secret behind the best tasting root beer? Well, yeah, start with a good brew. We have uh, 29 different spices that we use. You got to get the right, you know, real good, clear, crisp water. You got to get the right temperature when you're doing the brewing cycle. Um, we have a special recipe we've been using since 1926, and it's it's been working for us for a long time. It's a great premium root beer. Now, you, uh, we've been talking about this morning that really when you drink root beer, you shouldn't put ice in it. What's no. that all about? Well, uh, unlike uh, regular soda beverages, the, the, the root beer is made with a lot of different spices, and there's a lot of really intricacy that goes into the the recipe itself when you put in the ice and the ice begins to, to melt the water kind of messes That's with the delicious. recipe and messes with the flavor so you want to chill the root beer and you want to chill the mug but you don't want to put the ice in because that'll kind of ruin the flavor of, of the premium frost out hmm. you have a very classic look here the way you guys are dressed oh, yeah. we got uh -huh. the hats 50 on here. 50 style because root beer used to be huge like in the 50s right is it starting to make a little comeback i mean what it, are we seeing well it, we're, we're seeing a lot of a resurgence of you know what was old what was old mm -hmm. is new again root beer actually started in the late 1800s with sarsaparilla that was the original root beer, and it was an alternative to alcohol beer. In fact, started off as a medicine. They realized it had no medicinal value, but it tasted good. So they started serving it in the saloons. Um, then in the 20s, we saw the red birch beer. Then in the 50s, it really exploded with the vanilla cream-based root beer that most people know. A lot of families, we, uh, back in the 50s, just after World War II, we had a frost hop in, in every state in the United States. And, and families would get together. They'd go out for drives. It was a special occasion for mom and dad and the kids to, to get into the Packard or to get into the, the mm -hmm. student baker and head mm -hmm. on out for a, a family meal of frost hop. Now we're not, we're not seeing as much of that recently where you know multiple generations are, are climbing into the station wagon to go out for dinner okay. but we are seeing a resurgence in in old-fashioned old style the way grandma and grandpa used to do it mm -hmm. we see a lot of in a lot of the parties that we cater we see a lot of grandparents bringing their grandchildren up and telling them about when they proposed to grandma at the frost top right. in in springfield where Aww. we were started so we're we're seeing a lot of that uh, old coming back again so no ice but ice cream Yes, that's exactly. acceptable. Right. Absolutely. What is the proper way to make a root beer float? Maria, do you know? Uh, no, I don't. So mm. that's why they're going to show us. Absolutely. <laughs> are we going to let Maria do it? Yes. Oh, okay. Let's 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 Maria, you got to wear the hat. I'm trying to get the hat. You're not going to get away with that. Excuse okay. for everything. The, the key to making a good root beer float is what? first of all, you want to make sure you're either using an insulated glass or you're using. Best of all, you're using a mug. So you grab the handle. You don't want to use your hand because if you grab the glass, that's going to warm up the melt the ice cream and warm the root beer. All right, and I like vanilla. You like vanilla, so you're making a brown cow with the vanilla. We also make the black cow with the chocolate um, and you want to scoop it out in small scoops a lot of mistakes people make is they either pour in the root beer first and then put in the, the ice cream mm -hmm. or they pack the ice cream in the bottom and pour the root beer over but the ice cream goes first that's yes. right ice cream and then you want to make sure you're pouring the root beer or pouring your beverage over the ice cream to get a good creamy mix and you want that ice cream to float up right to the top why they call it the root beer float and that way, with every sip, you're getting a good blend of the, the spices of the ice cream. Um, you're getting a good mix of the ice cream itself. And uh, you want to use a real, uh, real cr uh, creamy, good, high-quality ice cream. We use Velvet out of Utica, Ohio, another Ohio company like us. And uh, it's just a real good mix. Now, I see here you have, you know, different flavors. Um, yes. Does it matter what flavor root beer you use? Well, it, it, it's subject to personal taste. We right. have, obviously, our three root beers, the original Sarsaparilla, uh, our Red Birch beer, and the traditional 50s uh, vanilla root right. beer. And it's just a matter of what, what kind of taste you like. What has the best bite to it? The best bite would probably be our Sarsaparilla. I'll hand that over here. I, okay. just to, I need a quick sip. Okay. Look at that. Okay, we're going to do a Sarsaparilla float here. Should I we're going to do one a up chocolate too? cow over here. Okay. Maria, I must say you're doing a great job. Absolutely. <laughs> Terry, you are the root beer queen, aren't you? I am. Terry, Terry Levine, Levine, the root beer queen. At you your go. service. That's right. <laughs> Now, what if you get too much foam? Is it now possible that's to get what, too that's much what foam? Happens. You can't get, you don't, you won't get too much foam. As long as the root beer is chilled, you're going to get a, a, a good head on it, and you want that head to stay there through the that's whole it. serving. It doesn't really? go away. It just stays a nice creamy, uh, uh, a nice creamy head on it. We'll nice mix of the root beer, and you see there in the head, you see how the vanilla is mixed in. The ice cream is mixed right. in with the the sarsaparilla itself. So there's a real Whoa. good treat for you in an official frost top mug. So Maria. All right. Cheers, cheers to you. Cheers. Phil's off in the Phil, distance. Cheers. Yeah, he got it right on his nose. That's the way to drink it. That's the way to drink it. Now, are you guys, you're also serving Afghanistan now. Did I read we, that correctly or is this wrong? We got an order a couple weeks it's ago hard. from a, a Central Ohio <laughs> resident who's stationed 
uh, with the U.S. Army in Afghanistan, and it's about 120 degrees over there in what they call the sandbox. Oh, oh look, we're going to top we're you got a food fight going on. That's right. Um, yeah, that's he the wanted some frost top. top. I see there. There, there you go. go. There you um, go. That's we now shipped an entire case over to him for his entire battalion, Delicious. and that started our current uh, uh, promotion that we have going now through 9/11 at our website. Uh, Frosttop.com. Yeah, all of the website we orders for every order we get on the website we for every party we book through our order. catering division, we send a six pack of uh, delicious Frost Top so over to the U.S. Armed Forces awesome. in Afghanistan. <laughs> we sent about 50 pounds of root beer over there last month, and we want to send a couple hundred pounds to our troops uh, coming up in September and October. So we're asking folks to go to the website, help us support the American heroes, and we're going to ship lots of root beer out to the sandbox to the U.S. forces. All right. Well, I want to give you this because you're sweating. I'm always sweating. <laughs> I'm always sweating. Thank you guys sweating. so much. To get connected Thank with Frost Top, just log on to our website. It's myfox28columbus.com and click on news links. Marie is pe a professional. Oh, Marie uh, looks great. Hey, there we go. That's beautiful. <laughs> Scoop for now. 938 right now. We'll be right back.